Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shuki Haru. So, if you're watching this, then that's mean Happy New Year. Happy 2024 is the year of the dragon. I'm very excited for this year. I'm hoping good things, uh, especially for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, if you watch the previous band list in almost all formats, uh, Dragon Rulers is being released to the wild, to the players, and I'm excited to see how that will shake up the meta. Although I don't think they are available in Duelings yet as the time of recording this. Anyway, I'm going to open few packs to celebrate the new year um, as well as to celebrate the year of the dragon. Although the products I'm opening is last year's product, even older products as you can see here. And while I'm opening here, I'm going to talk about uh, my goals uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! wise for 2024 so let's start off with this uh, structure deck so this is probably going to be the last structure deck I'm going to open uh, for TCG product this channel by the way thank you last year uh, we reached 200 subscriber and more and I guess credit goes to all the new uh, subscribers and fans who probably get interested to the game again uh, because of the Asia English release. So yeah, thank you guys for supporting this community and supporting this channel. So this is how the structure that looks like. So I'm pretty sure Fire King will not be released in Asia English, at least not in a structure deck form. From uh, little hints and rumors that I heard I think it's going to be a different structure deck they're going to be released first for Asia English though the theme is fire because uh, if you're aware through the late 2023 there's been a plethora of fire support and I'm sure it's going to continue on for Asia English as well so that's the playmat there it looks quite nice however it's, it is it is a paper playmat so just going to open it quickly right let's talk about goals uh, first and foremost if you're aware uh, in my social media such as in twitters uh, talk about a particular figures that will be released i think by mega house uh, I'm going to show you guys the uh, official teaser photos of it. It is uh, figures of uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. So that, if I am able to purchase it, that is probably going to be the first uh, figure from that uh, company that I purchase. Uh, although I'm hoping Bandai will release their own version in figure eyes uh, lineup. Hopefully, hoping for that. So yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to fund that. Um, probably I'm going to try uh, crowdfunding sites like Patreon or uh, Ko-Fi. We'll see about that. Um, also, I might finally get more incentive to you know release my own uh, merchandise uh, for this channel. You know as well as uh, boosting up my online store by the way everyone who've been purchasing there um thank you oh yeah there you go blaster dragon ruler of inferno and i'm pretty sure that we're going to have lots more of the dragon ruler release you know in other sets probably in a lower rarity so that players can have easy access to them alpha master of the beast i i remember when this card was very expensive now it's just a common Draw and Lockbird also is common. I think this structure deck is one of the best structure deck releases uh, to date. Um, I'm not talking about competi competitive wise, I'm talking about the value from all the reprints. So, yeah. I have a few more, a couple more, I think, at the time of recording in my online store. So, check that out if you want to grab it. Um, yeah, there's still some chance to get it though like i said this is probably going to be the last one of the last few uh, tcg product that i'm going to get for myself although i probably will 
continue buying uh, speed duo products i think speed duo is a good idea uh, it good introductions to a more casual or beginner players and i think konami should continue to release it yeah i just brushed to inf uh, infinite impermanence and solemn judgment <laughs> good reprints in this set so yeah i'm pretty sure by now everyone already seen videos of this product whether it's opening or the um the deck profile using three of the structure decks so yeah i would encourage you guys to get this product uh although for asia english we're probably going to have it as a as a side set uh like the one we have in as our first product so yeah try to get it if you can uh, otherwise just wait until it's me release i think uh in ocg and tcg uh fire king is quite competitive so that's a good uh product to get anyhow while we open our second product here uh which year is this this is 2021 megatins i think it's the second last one yeah but it's probably the best one because you have the blue eyes as well as the dark magicians which is uh our first starter deck i think no yeah i'm sure in uh asia english yeah right so um now that i'm not buying much of the uh tcg meaning the uk prints and the uh america uh us prints product uh what will happen to this channel well this channel i think is going to be a hybrid between uh, tcg as well as asia english so i'm going to open more asia english products uh, reviewing it you know building decks around it as well as around uh, the asia english band list although i'm a bit reluctant for now to build a deck because i think the band list is still a bit premature uh, we only have like the first band list so i'm wait i'm waiting for the next band list probably a lot more cards we're going to get hit uh, probably it's going to be closer to the both asia in uh, both ocg and tcg and then uh, i'll be building more deck around it so yeah more contents uh in the future of course i'm excited after all next year is the year of the dragon i'm pretty sure a lot more dragon products uh dragon supports is going to be released by konami and yeah a lot more uh contents around that and speaking of my channel uh, i've been thinking of changing the channel name uh, the reason is simple is because whenever i interact with other yugi tubers uh they refer me by the channel name and drag calling me dragon shine is kind of like odd so yeah maybe i'm going to change it uh, as yuki haru i'm not so sure yet if you guys have some ideas maybe you can drop your ideas in the comment section below and we'll see where we can go from there uh, oh yeah this product doesn't have promos uh which is a bit sad i do hope konami really consider making promos a permanent uh, thing for megatins especially they did so for the uh, 25th anniversary it's a good i think it's a good strategy to have like a, a more uh, permanent more guaranteed promos in megatins finish portraits titan Rider, wow good card Whoa, Divine Arsenal Zeus. Okay, so this is my second copy. It's a bit odd watching this card now since uh, I'm more inclined to have Asia English collection than uh, TCG. So yeah, maybe I can sell it to someone who might need it more. Tri Brigade, Melis, Ladies of the Men, uh, Union Driver. All right, so that's for the first pack. It's quite nice getting this and this and not really the best secret rare all right next oh trying to focus all right wish crafter speed through this 
this is the gizmet gizmet i think there's an idea of a deck around it but uh, it doesn't like become a deck i guess it's more like a staples in certain decks here soon <gasps> oh not this one yeah i kind of need this although i kind of need it in an asia english deck yeah so the reason why i'm excited for this one is because um the new blue ice fusion monster which is dragon magia master uh work well with dogmatica engine yeah so nadu 7 is a requirement for that engine so yeah so that's my second copy maybe i could get a copy ice dragon prison okay cool uh secret rare. not really that excited about it virtual world and few more cards All right so that's spec can we get another another seven any other sub cards it will be nice i guess um yeah okay thunder hand are we getting also of charmer all right oh, okay now shadow aerial and machina metal crunch as well as all these other cards right so like i said um in the future i'll be collecting more of the asia english cards and less of the tcg although i am a casual player so usually i don't mind this however for my last goal of the 2024 i'm gonna put all this card aside for a while so the last goal is i'm hoping next year i'll attend locals as well as uh anime convention etc etc so it's a bit more trickier than i wish all right so our promo is galaxy ice photon dragon 25th anniversary i think it's quite nice quite nice So the reason why it's tricky is because uh, where I'm currently at, there's no locals. And it is my wish that, you know, my online store is developed and you know, successful enough that I could make the first locals here. And the nearest local is quite a distance away. And I kind of have some obligations here that limits my travel time though yeah i'm hoping i'm wishing that next year i could uh, attend locals whether it's nearby nearby or uh, in the big cities uh, i kind of miss my friends that i make and play with at the locals in the big cities like kl and slango and yeah kind of want to see them again um, i know a few of them starting to play Yu-Gi-Oh again with the Asia English release and yeah I'm hoping to see them uh, you know have fun with them and another thing is I'm hoping to s attend anime convention uh, which is something I dearly miss uh, I haven't attended one since I think since Covid yeah it's been a while it's three years is it and I kind of want to see how the new generations of uh, convention goers uh, cosplay. They are, do, do they cosplay uh, Yu-Gi-Oh characters? You know, uh, last time I went to a convention, uh, I see someone cosplaying as Kaiba, a gender band cos Kaiba, which is rare. Okay, be still. That's nice. That's a good. That's a good card to get. And did I just get? Two secret rare in a pack. Mm. That's a rarity. <laughs> anyway, so I have some ideas. If I I'm going to a convention next year, maybe I'll give. I I do with anyone who uh, cosplay as a Yu-Gi-Oh characters, and you know anyone who cosplay as Kaiba, maybe they can get their hands on a 
original you uh blue eyes white dragon cards yeah that would be a fun uh way to interact with those cosplayers and yeah so 2014 basically i'm hoping you know uh i could get enough fun to purchase chaos max uh figures from mega house or hoping that bandai release their own version of chaos max and then i'm wishing for more contents in this channel as well as maybe some changes to the channel as well so looking forward to that oh yeah okay so it's basically two secret rare in a set and lastly i do hope i can find some times and put in some efforts to attend locals uh, maybe go and play in uh, official tournament as well as attending anime conventions uh, and try to find anyone who actually cosplay as a Yu-Gi-Oh character so hey guys um, it's a nice way of celebrating New Year's and yeah I got a dragon for my promos which is neat thank you for watching happy new year uh, happy year of the dragons and i see you guys in the next video thank you for watching this video you can help support this channel by clicking on the like button dropping a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more content there's also a link in the description down below to tcgplayer.com and inkgaming.com i also have few awesome playmat designs at inkgaming so be sure to check it out check out these few recommended videos as well Thank you once again for the support and I see you guys in the next video.